Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel Amazon African Motives are still working on forces on engineering science N3 so remember we worked on some of the questions uh, pertaining forces so this is actually a continuation from one of the question papers this is actually from uh, it must be March 2018 okay so we are given on question 3.1 uh, 3.2 or so that's the diagram that you're having so that's the question that you're going to have and it's only having 10 marks so it's going to take us few minutes in order for us to work with this question so if you're new to my channel you can consider subscribing so that you won't miss any of the classes that we shall be having from Amazon African Motives okay so the first question on 3.1 is to explain what is meant by the resultant of a number of forces okay so this is the resultant of a number of forces so you'll be given a lot of forces just like this one and you want to have the resultant like this okay so what is that resultant so it's actually a single force that is going to replace all these we can define this as the single force that can replace two or more forces and still have the same effect so that is a, actually a resultant okay so that's what we had on this part okay then uh, let's move on to another part we are asked to calculate the sum of the horizontal components and direction okay so remember they should be taken from this point here so i'm just going to indicate was this supposed to be something like this here okay so that uh, from the 150 degrees that we are having here we know that we are going to have uh, 90 degrees for this uh, vertical and horizontal line so you're going to have 90 degrees here so if this is 90 degrees that means out of this 150 degrees i'm going to subtract 90 so i'm going to remain with this angle between the force of uh, 60 newton and the horizontal axis so it's going to be 150 minus 90 which is going to give you uh, 60 degrees okay so that angle is going to be 60 degrees so now as you can see each and every force has got its angle here there is an angle 45 90 60 so it's now easier for us to have the horizontal components and also take note the horizontal components also they work with what with cos theta okay so let's see what we are going to have uh, so on 3.21 here we have the horizontal component actually this is your hx like i said uh, this one actually works with what with cos theta okay so that means you are going to combine these together okay so let's see what we have on this horizontal so the first one here there is nothing that's a zero this one and this one is actually out because it's actually it's a vertical component a straight vertical component so it's actually out we can't take this and we have 40 yes this one we are going to take it it's a straight horizontal that we are given and it's the direction to the left side which is a negative okay so we have negative 40 so our horizontal component we are going to have negative 40 in this case okay let's see another one there is the one that we are going to have here because uh, we need the horizontal which is going to be on this part here because uh, of this part but we are referring to this one this is the horizontal which is actually on the negative side so it's going to be negative 30 with the angle of what of uh, 45 degrees okay so it's going to be negative 30 cos remember this one works with cos so it's cos the angle between the force and the horizontal which is 45 degrees okay then uh, as you can see also here there is a horizontal between this 60 newton and the 60 degrees but this horizontal is on the positive side so this is a positive so it's going to be 60 cos 60 so it's going to be plus 60 cos 60 so also the direction matters here when it is a positive you have to indicate it with a positive a negative you indicate with a negative so direction is very very important okay so let's combine this together and see what you're going to, to obtain that's uh, negative 40 negative 40 minus 30 that's minus 30 cos 45 degrees okay make sure that your calculator also is in degrees plus 60 cos 60 degrees okay so this is 60 cos 60 degrees 
make sure that your calculator is in degrees guys on this part okay so you're going to obtain minus okay let's change this minus 31 comma 213 if i round off this uh properly it's going to be 213 something like that newtons and these these are not kilo newtons these are just direct newtons so it's going to be let's see this value again minus 31 comma 21 minus 31 comma 213 newtons okay so the negative there actually talks a lot uh, it's horizontal so if it is horizontal when you are given something like this this is to the negative and this is the positive so when you are given a question like uh, you have to calculate the sum of the components the horizontal component and direction so the direction because of the negative it actually means we are in this direction to the to the west so our hx can actually be written as uh, 31 comma 213 newton uh, to the west okay so this is actually to the west when it is horizontal if it is a positive it's to the east okay but this one is to the west because of the the negative okay that is uh, on 3.21 let's see what we have on 3.22 3.22 we are now given to calculate the sum of the vertical components in the direction also so these are the vertical components which is vy remember vy works with sine theta okay that's a vertical component uh, the y-axis so on this one remember last time we said it's a it's a straight vertical so we're going to take this and it's pointing upwards which is a positive so it's going to be plus 50 there's nothing that you're going to do on this one you're just going to take as a plus 50 okay this one last time we we talked about it it was a straight horizontal so which means on the vertical is going to be out you're not going to take this okay on this 30 newton there's going to be a vertical this is the vertical line and it's in the negative region so it's going to be 30 sine 45 in the negative so it's going to be a minus okay so we have minus 30 sine the angle that is in between the force and the horizontal axis okay that's what we are having in this case we move on to another one this one also if you are to cross check it's a vertical that is going to happen here and it's in the negative region so it's going to be 60 sine 60 degrees but in the negative so it's minus 60 sine 60 because of the negative region that we are having so that is what we are going to to have in this case okay so actually you can combine this just like the previous part that we had so it's 50 minus 30 sine 45 so this is 30 sine 45 you still remember properly uh, minus 60 sine 60 okay minus 60 sine 60 just write that as it is on your calculator and make sure that um, your calculator is in degrees you're going to obtain a negative 23 comma 175 this is going to change into 175 okay that's negative 23.175 newtons then according to the direction vertical this is the vertical part so it can be upwards which is to the north or it can be downwards which is to the south this is south positive north negative south so the negative indicates that this is actually 23,175 newtons but this is to the south okay so this is what we're having something like this so that's how you actually indicate or represent your solutions uh, when you are given to calculate the resultant uh, of a certain i mean the the force the sum of a certain force okay then let's move on to the resultant the magnitude of the resultant okay so the mag here we just need the magnitude not like the direction just the magnitude okay so uh, in this case actually when you're asked to calculate the magnitude there's no need uh, for you to have the diagram but you could have used the diagram in order for you to have the magnitude but because they just need the magnitude they don't even need the the direction so i'm just going to use the formula direct remember that uh, the magnitude for any triangle that you're going to have is the resultant arrow which is actually equivalent to the square root of the horizontal component squared plus the vertical component uh, squared so that is the resultant here so it's going to be the square root of the horizontal remember what we obtained in the horizontal that was 
this was the value negative 31 comma so i'm just going to use this but remember say the negative or this one is one and the same thing so we have negative 31 comma 213 so the exponent of 2 is not going to change anything whether you put it as a positive because there's a square uh, and that square is not going to affect okay then the vertical component we have negative 21 comma negative 23 that's negative 23 comma 175 squared again okay so this part just like the previous part you just need to use the calculator properly in this case so if you use the calculator properly you're going to obtain a round figure of 38 comma 876 if i'm not mistaken in this case okay so this is going to be the result in so like i said in actual sense we could have just used the diagram because here uh, we are given this result in uh, I mean, I mean the horizontal which is to the west and the one to the south so but because of the the question which just need the resultant i can just apply the formula then the the resultant okay but in actual sense this was supposed to be something like this because remember the horizontal is a negative so this is your horizontal here and this is your vertical which is also a negative so that's your resultant here something like this okay so this is negative for the horizontal negative 31 comma 213 okay and this is negative uh, negative 23 negative 23 comma 175 something like this and this is the resultant okay so that is what you could have actually used but guys this is just something from Pythagoras theorem okay so you can just actually uh use the formula direct uh that is for you to calculate the, the resultant so that's how they can actually ask these questions uh special on forces so you just need to be very very careful about the formula that you're going to use the typical questions and diagrams that you, you will be asked these are the ones so not to miss these classes guys make sure that you subscribe to my channel Mason african motives working on engineering science n3 so that's it guys till we meet again